guys, it's Dr. Carfor. I just returned from my walk and I saw these things that reminded me of COVID-19. It has the spikes in them. So I decided to try to explain why the aging cell gets attacked. So if you look at these eggs, here's COVID. Someone sneezes, I pick it up in my hand. This is a young cell here. You see the yolk is the inside of the cell. The outside of the cell is called the lipid layer. Every single cell in your body has a lipid layer to protect you, to protect you from things like this. So when this goes into someone's body, it goes and it tries to peel away the lipid layer and it tries to pull it apart and it attacks it like this, pulling it apart. But the younger cell has a larger layer. So it takes a while for it to get in there. A younger cell has that protection. An older cell, if you look at this yolk, doesn't have that protection. So look what happens already. COVID goes in there and it destroys the cell. It has no protection, okay? So, and it attacks the older cell. So very important for us is to build that lipid layer. What does that? Vitamin C and vitamin A produces a phospholipid layer to protect that older cell. For you younger folks, remember, you have a nice surrounding protection. So it takes a while. So the immune system could act on your cell, but the immune system, it's too late. This has already destroyed that cell. Now on top of that, if you take this aging cell that's already crumbled up, right? What happens in the older body, the body produces an immune barrier. It produces cytokines and it tries to protect it. So when someone takes Advil, okay, with this, takes Advil, what happens to now that protective layer of that older cell? The Advil decreases the inflammation, thus exposing the cell once again to the virus attack. That's why you don't take Advil, because it decreases your cytokine reaction. So take Tylenol for your fever and contact your physician immediately. Now I explain it this way really to really have people understand, especially the younger population. Older population is very vulnerable to this. So the first thing I do in my practice, prevent. Okay, so number one, you want to use protection. You want to prevent this virus from getting into your cell. So you want to spray your surroundings and kill it, kill it. The other thing that helps you is building up that lipid layer using vitamin C, a multivitamin with A, vitamin D to increase your immune system, and eating well. An apple a day keeps the doctor away because it's 1,500 milligrams of vitamin C. It helps that lipid layer. I hope this helps explain it. Please keep safe, use universal precaution, and we're here for you. So if you need anything, please call the office. Thank you.